Hi, I'm Kelsey. Whether you're a longtime runner looking to change up your routine or you're looking to get outside and enjoy the trees, trail running is an awesome way to do it and one of my favorite things to do. Let's talk about trail running. The great thing about trail running is that you don't need a ton of gear, just a good pair of shoes and a way to carry food and water. I wanna talk about shoes first. So this is a trail shoe. Trail shoes are gonna have a lot more features than a road shoe because they're made for more dynamic movement. Um, if you take a look at the bottom, usually the outsoles are gonna be made of a grippier rubber for uneven surfaces or anything slippery, and they're also gonna have lugs. Those are great for things like clawing into loose dirt or mud or anything like that. Um, you're gonna have also a more rigid midsole, usually with a rock plate so that it can protect your feet from anything underfoot, like roots, sharp rocks, anything that you could step on that could puncture a normal softer foam. And if you take a look at the uppers, usually you'll have a toe cap, something to keep you from stubbing your toes and more durable material that's less prone to ripping if you run into stuff on the trail. There's a lot to this and there's a lot of different type of trail shoes out there. So we have a whole video explaining that. If you wanna get more into detail, check out the link below. So when it comes to carrying food and water, you have a couple different options, ranging from handheld bottles to waste packs and larger vests and packs. Handheld bottles are really great for a shorter run or a really supported race where you get to fill up at an aid station and you don't need much on you. They have a pretty big range of sizes from something large like this, you can stash your phone, keys, and a little bit of snack, or something smaller where you might be able to stash only a gel or two. If you'd like to go hands-free and have your hands available for balancing or doing any type of scramble on a technical trail, a waste pack is a great option. They come in a variety of sizes, so this one's definitely on the smaller end of things. Uh, there'll be ones with larger pockets where you can easily stash a layer and some snacks. I don't personally run with one of these because they don't fit my body type very well, but I know a lot of runners who really enjoy them. One thing I like about this pack is that it's got two bottles, so you could put a nutrition drink in one and some water in the other and have a little bit of mix of things in terms of hydration. For longer unsupported trail runs, it's great to have um, a lot of stuff with you if you're gonna need to be carrying all of your gear. Something like a vest or a pack is a good option for these types of runs because you'll have a variety of pockets and a big range of sizes where you can choose the one that really fits best for your run. I use this pack from Ultimate Direction. It's got a lot of space for a hydration sleeve so I can have a reservoir of water and a variety of zipper pockets for me to stash layers and snacks. And in the front, it's got pockets for extra water and anything I might need on hand like my phone, my keys, or extra snacks. Any trail can be a great trail to run on, but the most common options are gonna be park trails, forest roads, and hiking trails. Park trails are great because they're smooth and well-maintained, so they're great for taking along a friend or a dog, and they're really convenient. So if I often want to go for a longer run and I don't want to leave the city, I'll link up some of my favorite parks and get a longer run with some extended trail time. And you'll often be surprised that a trail that's close to your neighborhood feels like you're deep in the wilderness, like this one. Forest roads are another amazing place to run if you want to get a smooth, non-technical surface like a park trail, but still feel like you're really deep in the wilderness. Some of my favorite places to run are a mix of forest roads like this one and a little bit of hiking trails on the side. Your go-to hiking trails can make for some really exciting runs and that's where you're gonna start getting into more technical terrain with rocks, roots, and other trail obstacles to hop over, run around, and everything like that. A great way to find a new trailer run is checking out a guidebook or using online resources. And apps like Trail Run Projects will often show photos of the trail, descriptions, elevation, distance, and even recent trip reports from people who've done the trail so they can tell you how it was. Keep in mind that you're gonna be sharing the trail with other runners, hikers, bikers, and even horses, so make sure to be a considerate trail user. To get started trail running, uh, you don't need any real training or any fancy techniques, but there are a couple things you can do to make it a little bit easier for yourself. First thing to do is to quicken your stride and take shorter steps so you can react to changing conditions on the trail, like rocks and roots. Think of trail running like dodging more than stomping, so you can hop around obstacles in your way. Another thing you wanna do is to focus your gaze about 10 to 15 feet ahead of you on the trail. If you look down at your feet, you'll probably trip, and I know from experience, so it's really good to take a look at what's coming ahead so you're prepared for it. So you'll wanna focus your gaze right around there. Techniques is a really big topic, so if you wanna learn more and go more in depth, check out the video below. 
So those are the basics. Next step for you is to get outside, find a trail, and go for a run. If you want to learn more about trail running, make sure to check out some of our other videos and subscribe in the link below. See you later. Thank you.